Today we're making eggnog. Super creamy and I'll be spiking it with brandy and rum. I'm excited to make this because it's kind of like a custard and an alcoholic drink mixed together with a horrible name. All right, our first step is to separate six eggs using clean hands. Okay, first egg white. One. There we go. Here's my whites. I'm gonna set this aside and I'm gonna wash my hands now because they're full of eggs. Now I'm gonna be whisking in about a cup of sugar. You can go a little bit lower if you want, but it's a treat, so might as well go all the way for me. And maybe about a tablespoon or half a tablespoon of vanilla paste. All right, so I'm gonna give this a good whisk until it's nice and incorporated and yellow. Light yellow. And now it's time for the alcohol. So I think I will be doing a combination of bourbon and spiced rum. I'm gonna do half a cup of each and then give it a little taste and see if I wanna add a bit more. This makes more than one drink. Feeling like the holidays. <laughs> I'm gonna add in one cup of cream right now. This is giving me bad memories of when I uh, made some poor decisions in college. <laughs> and then one cup and two cups of whole milk. Give it a whisk. and we're going to refrigerate this for about an hour right now. I'll be right back. Okay, a good cook actually always tests the batter, so let's give this a little test and see what it's like. That's good, but we could definitely go higher on the alcohol. So, another half a cup of bourbon. And the alcohol helps preserve this, so it'll last longer in the fridge. So while the eggnog is chilling, we're gonna whip up our six egg whites until they reach the stiff peak stage. Then they'll get folded in and create a frothy, creamy texture for the drink. Lock and high. Okay, those are stiff peaks. Perfect. We're going to now fold this into our chilled mixture. This could chill overnight, by the way. There's enough alcohol in it to keep it sterile. Okay, now let's fold this in, kind of gently. You want to preserve the creaminess and some of the air bubbles, but you can't have giant masses of, you know, whipped egg whites if you're going to drink. Switching to a whisk, gently whisking. That's better. Quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. This is like a giant cocktail right now. And I have half a teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm not gonna use all of it though. But I thought it'd be a nice touch to make it a bit more holiday. Okay, one final mix. Mmm, that smells great. Okay, I don't have a fancy ladle, so I'm using a measuring cup. So each drink has about a cup of alcohol in it. Just kidding. All right, that's good. Don't tell anyone. Let's just garnish it with some not freshly grated nutmeg. No one has time for that, sorry. And a tiny dash of cinnamon. Beautiful. All right, bottoms up. That's really good. Okay, I'll be drinking all of this. I'll see you later. Hope you enjoyed.